Boomtown receives a Peabody Award. This stylish and complex narrative takes us into the streets of Los Angeles, but does so in a way that refreshes and renews the police genre. The police found the gloves at the mall. They've already tested positive for gunpowder residue, and now it's at the lab, and they're looking for DNA. Are we going to hear a charge oh, here? Oh, I'm getting to that, Richard. All I'm hearing are ominous threats of evidence that may or may not have any legal validity. Yeah, we have ourselves a witness. She saw your client do it. It was the other little grill you shot. Not a word. You see, now that's very good advice. I'd take that. I'm surprised. Where are the cameras? I can't see you making a big bust without cameras. You know, I thought about that, Dick, but with everybody running around and asking questions, we wouldn't be able to hear it. Hear what? Shh, shh. Listen. You hear that? That swirling sound. That's all of young Taylor's hopes and dreams and aspirations just spiraling round and round and whoosh. Right down the drain. Graham Yost is the creator and executive producer of Boomtown, and he's here to accept the Peabody Award. Thank you. I have to say we're all incredibly grateful to get this award. I know it's, it's just a, an honor to be honored, but for us it got our show to come back next year. Um, it's hard, it's hard to cancel a Peabody winner. Um, this is, uh, for, for me anyway, better than going to the Emmys. When you go to the Emmys, you don't know if you're going to win or lose. And, and when you go to the party afterwards, 80% of the people there have just lost. And it's pretty miserable. Um, here we're all, we're all winners. I would say the thing that John and I are most proud of in this whole thing is putting together this cast. Um, it's, they're a joy to write for. They're a joy to... Uh, for John and the other directors to direct. The best thing for me about winning the Peabody is that I get to speak and John doesn't. And that means he has to listen. I don't know if I can get through this, just to thank him. Um, when, when I was told that John Avnet was gonna be directing this thing, I heard that he was arrogant and had this huge ego and that Joan Didion and John Gregory Dunn wrote a book about the industry in which he is featured prominently and the book is called Monster. Um, <laughs> And he is arrogant, and he does have a huge ego, but he's one of the finest people I've ever met. And the look of the show, the style of the show, is due to John. And he just keeps on, I hate him, but he just keeps on pushing me to write deeper, and all of the writers, amazing team of writers. And we're just trying to do the best show we can. Uh, so thanks to John, to NBC, and to the University of Georgia. Thank you.